Gonna get it, but that's okay. Anybody else want to bring a bag? The Billy Boy. <laughs> we said to them the original request at our meeting wasn't for answers, even though we were told we were going to get answers. The original request was that uh, we wanted them to put a stop to. Uh, the, uh, the uh, violations of the Legislative Act, which we know and they know is being violated, and they've been told by the Auditor General that uh, they failed in policing it. They were legislated to, to ensure that the Act uh, remains consistent and followed, and uh, they didn't do that. They're not doing it. I explained to them in detail uh, that the, act, the, the uh, sections of the Act that's being violated have already been violated and will continue to be violated. And not only that, they're enforcing the decos to violate the act too, should this go through. And uh, he has no remarks, of course, no comments to make that's of any value, except to say that Bill's out of town. And uh, the environment minister can take as long as he wants to uh, study the situation. And he refuses to agree with us that a stop should be put on this now before it goes farther, because both Encore and <coughs> GMU and uh, Grand Falls are working towards uh, putting this together, uh, everything's going forward in their direction, and uh, it's not moving in a direction for us at all. So um, he just continues to say that uh, they uh, that they're studying it, they're reviewing it, and they'll get back to us. I ask him why Bill lies to us, you know, many times over and over. How he said that if we weren't at his meeting, uh, we had been much, how unfortunate it was that we weren't at his meeting in Newcastle because we could have had all our questions and concerns answered, but uh, we weren't at that meeting because he. He only gave us one day's notice, and he canceled the one that we had for two weeks, which he promised he'd be there. But in the meantime, we did meet with him in Frederick, and we submitted questions of all kinds. And it's going on three weeks now, we haven't had an answer. Robert Cole from the uh, president of the depots had put in 22 questions. They are seriously concerned. They haven't got any answers. And uh, he, Robert Cole uh, reviewed a video of the new uh, equipment and truck that's going to be used. And uh, he's astonished. He can't believe how it'll work. He said he's seen as many as four or five people in the back of the truck uh, loading it. And uh, he don't know where those people come from if the company's going to bring them on the truck, which is unlikely. But he said if those extra people are required by the depots, that's going to be a financial hardship they could end up closing. And uh, there is nothing good about the new system. Uh, right now we have a, a very professional person on our side who has been with Recycle uh, New Brunswick since it started about 20 some years ago. He just retired. He did a module test run of everything that's supposed to take place with this new system and is doomed to fail. It can't work. Two trucks got to cover the whole province and go into each depot, 70 of them, plus uh, at least two, if not three and four times a week. It can't be done and uh, it's going to fail. And, but what's happening right now is if it does fail, either the government's going to submit more money or they'll do what they want to make, to make it work. Uh, Pierre Landry in uh, Moncton, who's looking after Encore, uh, he's turned this into a personal empire, a financial empire with lots of profits from the uh, bottle depot money, and uh, he's accomplishing this because the environment department is supposed to oversee it, and they failed, and he's got away with it for so long that he believes he can just walk away with this. And even though he's violating the act seriously this time, uh, he's still uh, pulling the eyes closed or whatever you want by the government because or for some reason they refuse to, to even look at it. So he's getting away with everything he wants at our cost. And uh, the environment department makes a large profit every year uh, from the bottle deposit. Encore, besides their wages, expenses, accounts, uh, utilities, they still get a large profit. So there's more money being collected than you ever want to operate this business. And yet they're asking the operators, they're asking the operators to nickel and dime, cut it a short.
short as they can, and uh, they're giving it now to Nova Scotia, 40 jobs, and that's an American firm doing it, sold in Nova Scotia. So uh, we got to get more people together. We can't stop at one rally. You know, everybody came. We're, we're grateful for that. But we got to try to drum up more people to get. Uh, he he knew in there that he should have answered some questions, and I, we had kind of had him on the spot there. But uh, I think we could continue pressure, and we need pressure from around the provinces. It's a provincial thing with all the depots, and uh, I'm going to work my ass off. And uh, we got to get something bigger going. And maybe you know, he'd be in Moncton at his at, uh, at Encore, could be in Fredericton. But we can't let this uh, happen the way it's, it's going down. So uh, thank you very much for everything, and we got to come more people to continue this fight. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Carol. Very, very much. Just remember, Carol, drop from the bucket cause ripples, and ripples will cause waves. Well, we're gonna spread so although we don't have that many people here today, our numbers will grow because, like I had said, 40 jobs on the Mary Machine is 400 in Moncton, these bigger centers. We need every job here. We'll get there. Instead of two or three weeks down the road, maybe we'll get a bigger. Yep. He just said it all the way the Quebec contract with the snowblowers or snow plows, yeah. just like that. <laughs> but they can't stop this contract. Oh no, we said it's all working. That's what his assistant just said. <laughs> it's not a democracy that he's working under. It's more like a bureaucracy. There's a big difference. So the next time we'll have a diplomacy. ribbon and a cake, and yes. maybe Mr. Fraser <laughs> will join us. I guarantee you. <laughs> Yep. <laughs>